it's Megan. Today, we're going to talk about how to start your service business, or rather, the journey to being your own boss. So, get your pens, get your pen, your paper, and let's get into it, honey. Let's get into it. Okay, y'all. Just, just to let you all know, if this is your first time watching me, my name is Jackie McKeever, okay? And I am a business management consultant, right? So I have an MBA with a graduate in accounting. I spent 20 years training, training managers, supervisors, employees to excel in that business, okay? I've managed budgets, um, so I have a dealing with contracts, you name it, I've done a lot during my 20 years. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a service business. Services, there. Are, so if you're an author, I know it seems like they shouldn't fit in there, but listen, you do, okay? If you're an author, if you're a coach and consultant or other service-based business, baby, baby, this video is for you. All right. Before we get into it, make sure that you subscribe, 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 because I'm dropping nuggets, I'm dropping nuggets, and I'm coming fast, and I'm coming to your living room, your space, or wherever you are watching this, giving you this information. Okay, so... I wanted to write this down, but I do want to let you all know I have an additional resources that's absolutely free. You can download. It gives you um, more information on entities, right? Because that's number two. So in order for you to become your own boss, in order for you to start your own service-based business, the first thing you want to do is research, right? So I made the research in a little bit easier, right? Because the things you want to research, you want to research what businesses are out there. Because regardless of whether how unique you're trying to be, that SWOT analysis is real. And whether you're doing a business blueprint or a formal uh, business plan, you want to know what your strength, your weaknesses, what your threats are, what opportunities there are out there and everything so you can treat them or terminate them or whatever you got you can knock them out the ballpark baby so you can go get yo <laughs> yes that's a little entertainment so anyway so that you can be successful in your business right so you want to be able to do research and speaking of a resource that i have for free i have i call it the secrets to uh business secrets right it's secrets to creating your entity right so an entity is like a ll whether do you decide whether you're going to be an llc a c corp or s corp or whatever right um so i it's really quick it's uh, not that many pages long, right? It's an additional resource. Resources absolutely free. I wanted, so I created this this uh free resources so to help you on your journey in resource. Because I all, I mean, excuse me, in research, because I always get that question, Jackie. What entity should I use? Like I've had people who had S corps, right, and asked me. Somebody told me I chose wrong. Why they say that? I don't think I chose wrong. Why they say that? So I began trying to explain the difference between the LLC, the difference between a C corp, the difference between the S corp, and they were a little bit overwhelmed, right? So I said, okay. Let me create this ebook, right? I'm going to create this ebook and then you'll be able to read through it, right? It'll give you the preliminary, preliminary universal information. And then we can, we can add on to it because, you know, uh, based on the laws in your state, we can add up on to it, but this this booklet has universal rules of those ent entities, right? Because 
uh, the details of it, the details of the requirements are based on what state you're in. You copy. I don't want to overwhelm you. I want to make sure you're following me, right? Okay, so another thing you have to do in order to start your business, you need to have some type of niche, right? You need to be able to sell in a certain market. What is your market, okay? Who is your customer? There are questions that you actually have to ask and that comes with research, right? It comes with defining what your entity. It comes with finding out what laws you have to abide by so you can be successful because don't nobody have time to go to jail. Don't nobody want to be running around here in orange or white or whatever color they have. No, ma'am. No, sir. Mm -mm. No. Okay. You want to have some type of payment method. You want to make sure that that payment method works the best for your customer and also for your business, right? You want to be able to manage those things, right? So, those are some steps that are outlined outlined with your cost. It helps you decide which business credit you should be in. It helps you add all that information to your blueprint, right? And don't worry, don't worry. What I want you to do is I want you to click down in the link below and go ahead and download that, that business secrets, right? The business secrets is going to give you some information that you're that you may not even know about these different types of entities. And once you read them, I want to invite you either return to this video or click on the link that's in the ebook and ask me questions and let's get the conversation going because listen, it is time out for all wasting time. It's time for you to be your own boss. It's time for you to step in your purpose. It's time to do what God's called you to do it's time for you to go get you some money some money okay it is time baby it's time it's time so if you have not subscribed make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss the notification because the next video i'm going to be talking about is finding the minimum cost finding the cost of your business right because that's important with your blueprint or your business plan whichever one you decide to make it's great to even have both if that's what you decide to do but you need to know how much your business how much it's going to cost for you to operate that business how much you're going to make so that you'll know how much you're going to make from that business to make sure that you're not out in these streets wasting money creating businesses that you can't hold up okay that you can cannot support and it doesn't mean that you can't create that business later it just means maybe you need to create something else first before you create business b anyway we'll talk more about it in the next video all about finding the cost of starting your starting and running your business see you next time